Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. I know it's been a very long time since I've done a video, very, very long time. Um, the last one was actually uploaded probably like around May, I believe. My last video I put up, I was actually uh, letting you guys uh, know about my mom who had passed away uh, on October 18th. Um, it was quite sudden. Um, it was not quite really expected, uh, even though she was 79 and going to be 80 on November 5th. I'm not going to get full in detail on that right in this video. This video, I'm going to actually share some palettes with you guys. So I figured what I would do is within the next few days later this week or the weekend, I'm not sure which way it will end up being uh, uploaded yet. And when I get it recorded, and basically I'm just going to do a chatty get ready, get ready with me video, kind of bring you up to par of um, what had happened, what's going on, and where things go from here. Not just leave you guys hanging and wondering like, well, what happened and all that kind of stuff. I want to also thank everyone for the prayers, for the outpour of um, concern or just you know, thinking of us and, and uh, cards, flowers, I mean, just everything, like, it's, it's, it was beyond, and I could, I could feel the love from so many people. I did have a company send me some palettes, they're called C Color. So it basically, it's a company that does a lot of dupes of palettes that are out there, or compares to, or similar to. If that sounds something that's of interest to you guys, then keep on watching. Okay, so the company C Color uh, had sent me some palettes. Actually, they sent me quite a few of them. And it is one of those companies that has um, like the dupes or similar or compared to um, other brands. I believe they have some other products like lipsticks and things, not just eyeshadow palettes. They have like cheek palettes, uh, contour palettes, just a little variety of everything. And for reasonably good priced. So I'm going to show you the palettes that they sent to me, two of which I already have the originals, which was very helpful to show you guys and compare to see if they are dupes. So I did want to tell you guys before I forget, C Color is um, a company that is located in Los Angeles, California. And that's where all their products come from. So when you do place an order, they will come from their manufacturing in Los Angeles. Uh, it was, I believe, makeup artists, it said, and a lot of uh, creators and makeup artists uh, wanted to make affordable palettes and products, basically. Like I said, there is lip liquid lipsticks and glosses. I know they're in a work in a progress. They're just getting it all going and everything. So they will be having some new products coming out here soon. I'm going to show you the first palette that if you guys did watch me live on my Facebook, it is this palette here called Dope. And there's 14 eyeshadows in here. There is a 12 month shelf and it does have cruelty free. It does have the um, bunny on the back on these. This palette, when I seen on their site, I knew right away what it was a dupe for or compared to. I don't have the original one of this, but I did want the original. If you guys can see here, it is of the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie palette. And I don't know how many of you guys like have it or have wanted it. These uh, pigments here, like if they're like a glitter pigment, um, I did have a little bit of a struggle with some of the glitter pigments, but that's uh, maybe no fault of theirs. It might have been more me because I'm not used to glitter pigments, so I was having a hard time uh, picking up the color at first. I will say these do feel very soft, very smooth. Um, there is a good bit of kick up. I'm not usually bothered by that. Uh, I know some people can be bothered by that, but I'm not bothered by a lot of kick up or anything. I love my Lorac eyeshadows, which do a lot of kick up, and my Anastasia's um, eyeshadow palettes. So let me go ahead and swatch this one real quick here, this glitter pigment that I was telling you about. 
right there it is and it is really pretty i don't know what hers is like you know laura lee's but there's a swatch of that like a glitter pigment so you will need like a wet brush or something like that um, i'll rub into the mat that's right next to where that glitter pigment was at right there it is you'll see some of the you know kickback there and and that but they do blend nice they do go on nice i'll rub there so you can see and they are quite pigmented it actually says uh, um, dope one so it's 11.99 now when you press the shop now it will take you to their amazon page as of right now that's where it will take you to i will put a link down below to the uh, shop you know the place that you might want to pick some of these up so that's the first one and like i said 11.99 for this one i believe they're called their obsessions yeah they're uh, um obsessed palettes and these are supposed to be dupes to the huda beauty uh little mini palettes that you can get i have four five and six obsessed so they do have some other ones prior up before but these ones are i think they're newer ones and this one here i actually wanted this one from huda <clears throat> and it's like of the coral shades and i did want this one from the huda palette and i wore it the other day when i went out to my daughter's um we went to watch a little movie with my granddaughter and the color is that this one here that shimmer one that the colors do work out really nice i mean the next one right to it that coraly color so again i mean it, it they work out really nice as you can see there this one here is um obsessed four i guess i skipped by that was five this is four this is those bolder colors that i think huda beauty did do one like this where there's like uh, vivid pinks and orange and um, blue here's this pink color and we'll go ahead and do this like teal teal color down there And there they are. Like when you swatch them, they are kind of, um, you know, like streak through. This one here is Obsessed 6. This one has the jewel tones. This is all shimmer in this one. So I thought if I do a look, I might use some of the vivid colors and then put in some of these really pretty jewel tones, which let me just say this color right here is like a coppery color is so calling my name that is so pretty i mean yeah right there and i i love my coppers so that's that one the palette that i have on my eyes right now like one is the is the uh supposed to be the dupe and then one of the original on my eyes now if you watched me live you did see this palette which as you can see they're this is what the name of their company is the c like there's a big capital c and then the color and this is called the Around the World palette. This is supposed to be compared to or duped to the um, Urban Decay uh, Born This Way palette that I have. I did pick this up because I fell in love with it when I was in Sephora. So I do have the original. And there it is right there. Born This Way and Around the World. They are very, very, very similar. Like they even have the colors in the same areas. Like this here doesn't have the names, as you can see. Like they don't have names on the palettes, like the color names. And of course, this one, the Urban Decay does. This one here, the Born This Way, is on this side of the eye. The C color around the world is on this eye. So this is here this is over here for myself i don't see it too much i mean of course i know maybe just a little tad bit uh with this one this um riff color that's like a um terracotta color maybe or something like that right there it's a little more lighter it went on lighter than what theirs did uh you do have to be very careful because like i said it does kick up a lot on theirs 
but really truthfully, I mean, like if somebody and see me and I was out and about, they would be like, oh, you got two different, you know, uh, brand brands of eyeshadows or, you're, you know, they look different or anything. Uh, the one color, but in both of them, interesting enough, this really pretty teal color in both of them, I had to pack on a couple of times, uh, maybe a little bit more with this one here around the world one. But other than that, like both of them, I had to do that with some of these plummy colors. Okay, because that's what really also drew, drew me into these palettes. This one's around the world um, palette. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this purple one. The Urban Decay palette, it's called Wild Heart. Right here it is. It's of a shimmer color. So there they are side by side. I mean, you cannot tell on my finger, but we will see by swatching because there has been some that... I could tell when I swatched there was a little bit more darkness to the Around the World one compared to Urban Decay. This one's Around the World. This one's the Urban Decay. And honestly, Around the World one, yeah, it's again a little bit darker. But if you look, you can't tell too much of a difference. So there's some that are doing that, like... Um, some with from the Around the World palette seems just a little bit darker compared to the one, but really it's not all that much. So I would say it's so close to being a dupe, definitely, for sure, hands down. I'll let you know how much this one is. I forgot to tell you about those little minis too. So I'll let you know how much um, the Around the World palette is here. Um, the Obsessed palettes are $6.99 each. The Around the World palette is $15.99. Now, I will say also, in some of these palettes, they do have like the, the mica and talc and things like that. So if you, and it does say here, if irritation occurs, dis discontinue use. It sounds like the eyeshadows in here are 0 .0, 0 0.045 ounce each. That's how I'm taking it, each eyeshadow in this one. The Urban Decay one is 0 0.02 ounce each in, in theirs for their eyeshadows, if that gives you any indication. Okay, the next palette I got a while ago too when it was on sale on, at Sephora. I'll show you the palette they sent me from C Color, and theirs is called the Peachy um, Eyeshadow Palette. It's in one of these uh, plastic containers. Most of their, um, their eyeshadow palettes too are pretty durable. They seem pretty durable to me. Um, this does come, I believe, yes, it does come with a eyeshadow brush, which is really nice. Okay, which I'm going to pop it out. Here's the eyeshadow brush. And I, honestly, it's a really nice, durable eyeshadow brush. I mean, like, look at that. That's really nice. You know, it's, it's a really nice, really nice brush. So here's the palette here. And if you guys can guess, this one here is to be a dupe or compared to the white peach palette. And I did pick this one up. I don't have the other one. I wanted this one because I wanted more, because they're cooler tones. And I don't know. I just, I, I loved the packaging, which that brought me in. It was on sale. And I, like I said, just had the cooler tones and I wanted to play around with it. I really, really love this palette. So here's uh, the Too Faced one, the White Peach palette. Okay, so there's the comparison there of those. Try to get my hands out. And you can see a lot of comparison. The packaging is different on this, of course. They didn't make the, um, you know, casing like as this one is which this one smells really good you can't smell the peach i'll have to see yeah this has a really nicer peach scent to it i think than the original peach palette from too faced um let me see oh yes 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 you can't smell it very faint not not a lot but it's slightly there two obsessed palettes and this are the only ones i have not gotten to play with yet this color here is called peach suede i'm going to swatch it you can see some of my stuff there it's a matte a matte shade if i had to guess the peach suede in here it's probably 
this one right oops it's probably this one right here so I'm going to swatch that and yeah pretty pretty darn close there so there they are there and they're pretty darn dupe there for sure let's get a glistening peach that one caught my attention whenever I seen this palette and here's the one in theirs right here it's a little more gritty though theirs is a little bit more gritty feeling but wow There they are, they're kind of a little bit more different. This one is from the Peach Palette from Too Faced. The other one um, is from the C Color. Okay, so the Peachy Palette is $11.50, which is really good price. Um, they do have the Peach 2 or something like that, which looks like the dupe to the other one um, that was out. I, I think that was called the Peach Palette, right? The first one from Too Faced, the from this kind of a collection. I thought I'd share this company with you guys because, you know, like for myself, I'm really gonna have to watch what I'm spending now and be more on a more tighter budget than what I was before. And this is wonderful because you can find some eyeshadow palettes that's for a reasonably good price. Quality seems pretty good of what I've tried so far. Uh, like I said, there is kick kick up and. You do have to be very careful when you're dipping into the eyeshadows. I did, like I said, found that like when you're dipping into them, you have to be very careful. Right, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick clip of the video where I'm applying the eyeshadows from the two palettes, the Urban Decay Born This Way and then Around the World from C Color. So I'm going to get to that real quick and then we'll be right back. Everybody. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Maybe this is a company that you're new to and you're going to look into seeing what products they have. Like I said, I will put a link down below. Check it out. Shop around. Um, I've even seen where they had dupes of some Jeffree Star products and I believe some Kat Von D and some other brands. You'll, you'll recognize them as you go through them and, and uh, you'll, you'll recognize the the palettes of what I'm talking about. I love finding other brands out there. You know that um, off brands that I've never heard of before and something like this. It's affordable and you might want to go ahead and step into it and try it out. 
Uh, ideas for Christmas gifts. There's still time to place an order and possibly get some of these for as Christmas gifts, you know, for that maybe teenager that's starting to get into the makeup and everything. So thanks so much for joining me. And as always, be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.